Hi friends, Miss Stacy here. Um, I want to do our lesson today outside because it is so beautiful out. It's been such a nice weekend. We've had just beautiful weather. The sun is shining, it's blue skies. Um, so I wanted to go through our Becker's kit, okay? Um, this is our craft kit that hopefully you received in the mail. Um, in here there's a lot of great things, a lot of great things for crafts. Um, so to start out, here's our markers. Here are some crayons, a glue stick, there it is, scissors, remember to be safe with our scissors, safety hands, a sharpener, what goes with a sharpener? A pencil sharpener as pencils, here we have two pencils, and when we sharpen our pencil, remember to be safe. Okay, the reason why there is a lid on here is to keep you safe and also catch the shavings of the pencil. So when we sharpen our pencil, make sure your lid is on there because there's a really sharp piece in there. So when you sharpen it, wait until you can see um, the lead that you can write with. So, oh, mine broke out. But once you're able to write with the pencil, then you know that you sharpened it enough. Okay, so here is my kid writing book, which I can use my pencil for that I just sharpened. Um, also, you can use your crayons and your markers to uh, help color in the picture that you drew. So here, you can write your name right there. Open it up. What I want you to write about is nature. What do you see in nature? Okay, so when I went outside today, I see trees, I see bushes, I see dandelions and other types of flowers like daffodils. Um, I see birds, uh, lots of robins are looking for worms right now. So I can draw a picture of a bird. I could see, hmm, I wonder if I can find a bird nest, but if a birdie is on there, I'm not going to scare the bird away. I'm gonna stay far away. Um, but you could draw a picture of the bird in its nest and you can write about it. You could say, today I saw a bird in her nest. She was sitting on her eggs. Um, so write about something that you see in nature. And we have construction paper. All right, lots of different colors in here. This is how the front should look. Okay, and look at this. Look at all those colors. Whoa, lots of colors to work with. Today, we're going to work with the color green and we are going to make a green house for our lima bean seeds okay so hopefully your lima bean seeds are doing okay still um let me show you what i made i went ahead and made this before our little video okay so i wrote miss stacy's greenhouse at the top i cut out three rectangles rectangles have two long sides and two short sides um, and I also cut out a triangle. A triangle has three sides. For this, I took a green piece of paper from my construction paper. I took my scissors and I was very safe with my scissors. I held it correctly. I have two fingers at the bottom, my thumb at the top, and I made sure my other hand was far away from my scissors so I wouldn't accidentally cut myself. So let's pretend, I'm going to pretend to cut out three rectangles because I already cut them out and put it together. So what I want you to do is for real, cut out the three rectangles, okay? And then cut out a triangle. So one, two, three. Remember when we cut up and down, up and down, and then you're going to cut out a triangle, okay? So, triangle. And then once you have that all cut out, you can use your glue stick and glue the sides onto your Ziploc bag. And you can see the lima beans in there, okay? I'm pretending that this is a greenhouse. A greenhouse helps plants grow. Okay, and I wrote with my marker, doesn't matter what color you use, Miss Stacy's greenhouse. Remember with our marker, make sure when you put your cat back on, 
that you hear it click. All right, so have fun with that craft. Um, I can't wait to see pictures of them. Send it to my email, and I hope you have fun with it. Bye-bye.